What's up guys, I just wanted to talk about this UN4001 central door locking system. Pretty much it's just the the door actuators um, for automatic door locks. Um, I bought this because I have a 1995 Ford Ranger with um, manual door locks and manual windows. Anyway, um, this one says it's compatible with remote control. It's got the two controllers in there. Um, it's also compatible with a car alarm system. If you had your own alarm system, you could um, wire it together with this. Easy to install and use. Um, both front doors control, whatever that means. It runs off 12 volts, so it's pretty much standard for all cars. Push and pull force, it says it should be able to pull 3 kilograms up and down. And the travel distance is 20 millimeters so pretty much as the door lock as the door actuator goes up and down it should move 20 millimeters um, that's pretty much everything on that side of the box it's got the four right there right there's Chinese all right oh right there's uh, I guess you got a Chinese wiring diagram right there if you know how to read it pretty pretty simple to make out here's the little module you got the pins this would be I guess the anti-theft I think I saw on this picture here's gonna be your fuse power and then this is the ground wire all these wires go over here to the to the master and then from the master you get the there's a green and blue wires which are pretty much power and ground I guess but they alternate um, off to the slaves see right here we got the the four actuators we got one two three four these two are the slaves these three actually Here you go, you have your master, which has all these wires. And the rest of the kit over here, you have the little module with the antenna. And then the connectors. Right here you have your whole wiring. It comes with the fuse already installed. This would be the wiring for the, for the four... For the four locks. Right here you have the controllers, which have this little sleeve that goes up and down. I think it's pretty cool. It has got um, lock, unlock, right here silence, and the horn, I guess the panic button. And um, these two, you can wire them in if you have your anti theft system and you hook up. The module together you'll have both working off the same controller right here there's these little rods that are used to connect your, your actuator you just slide it in through the little hole right here and then just hang it up like that You also have these little brackets in case your door panel is all messed up and you got to put this at an awkward angle. You know, you could hook up two ends over here on the door panel and then the little bolt right here through the middle. And you also have your hardware that hooks up here to the rod and this hooks up to the, to the actual locking mechanism. So you'd hook this up and then as, as the actuator goes up and down, it's going to pull that lever up and down as well. So here I have the whole kit set, set up. Here's the little module with the antenna. The wires running down. And then I have the black is the negative. That one's hooked up over here to my awesome Power Wheels battery. Here's the negative. The positive comes over right here. That's fused power. 
going back to the module and then right here you have these two wires the white and the brown are the ones that go to the anti-theft so if you have your own car alarm you'd hook up right here and then the rest of the wires the the ground and the the color ones so uh, what is it um blue and green all the wires they go here to the master and then from the master only the green and blue wires come over and then they start teeing off from this whole bundle they come off to these slave actuators and here you have the controller so if we lock it they're all gonna lock unlock and all of them are gonna unlock at the same time so let's see locked if I hit it twice nope they still so it seems they, they all just go together at the same time you have to open all four doors here's the other controller same thing they're all working and then these these controllers it actually they have some pretty good range um, I was testing them earlier and I was easily about 70 feet away and they were still working so let's see if that changes once it's actually on the car but at 70 feet I don't think you're ever gonna get any farther than that I wouldn't want it to open past that because you know what if you're in a store or something and you accidentally hit it but these is actually not that that easy to do because it has this cover but you never know so all in all I think it's a pretty good buy the only downside I think that I've come across is that um, the wire is actually pretty thin can't really focus but the wire is pretty thin for what it is on most of these see right there it's more insulation than it is wire so maybe on the door after opening and closing after a certain amount of times you could get little breaks so you probably want to put a really good wire loom over it or maybe even cut that section out and put some thicker gauge wire anyway for what it is for 20 bucks I think it's a pretty good buy thumbs up